morning, everyone. We're gonna get started with our math lesson today. And to start, we're going to count to 100. So you can stand up wherever you are and practice your counting. to work on our volume here and make this better quality for you so I'm playing around with the video today all right we're gonna work on our math page now so you're gonna need a blue crayon and a yellow crayon and your paper that looks like um, your paper that looks like this it has trains on it Okay, I'm gonna to try to move you a little bit closer. Maybe that will help. Okay. So here is what your paper looks like today. Okay, so we have our, we have yellow trains and we have blue trains. 
So we're going to talk about how many trains are yellow and how many trains are blue. So let's look at this first train. How many cars are in the train? This is the engine and these are the cars. So how many cars are in that train? There are three cars, right? And how many are blue? Two are blue and one is yellow. So one and two make three, three trains all together. So one and two make three. All right, and um, now let's look at the second train. Remember this is the engine and these are the cars. So how many cars are yellow in that second train? Right, two of them are yellow and two of them are blue. So that makes two and two make four all together. One, two, three, four. So two and two make four. Okay, and let's look at this third train. Okay, remember this is the engine and these are the cars. Before we start, let's count how many cars are in that train. One, two, three, four, five. And if you look at your paper, you can tell that the numbers are there on that train. I don't know if you can see it very well on the screen, but there is a number one, a number two, a number three, a number four, and a number five. Okay, so how many of those cars are yellow? One, two, three. Three of them are yellow and two of them are blue. So that means three and two makes five, okay? So what you're gonna do on this, before we do the bottom, let's talk about what you noticed about these trains, okay? What did you notice was the same about these trains? Okay, maybe you can tell somebody at your house, what did you notice was the same about these trains? Maybe you noticed that all of the first cars are yellow. Okay, that would be the same, right? Maybe you noticed that the last car in every train was blue. Okay, but something different maybe that you noticed is that each one has a different number. Okay, so there could be a lot of different things. There could be a lot of the same things. So think about what you notice about those trains. And let's look at this last train. It wants you to decide how many cars you want yellow and how many cars you want blue. So let's start by counting how many boxes you have. Those are gonna be your trains. I mean, your, your cars for your train. One, two, three, four, five. So you have five boxes. So you need to decide how many you're gonna make yellow and how many you're gonna make blue. And we'll share that later today in our teams meeting. If you can bring this paper with you to the teams meeting and show me how many trains you made yellow and how many trains you made blue, okay? And then for the back side of your paper, okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and color your trains real quick. I'll give you just a couple minutes to do that, okay? Or well, maybe not a couple minutes, maybe a couple of seconds. All right. Okay, so we're gonna now do the back side of that paper. It's page number 34, okay? It looks like this one. And we are going to use our blue and um, yellow and blue crayons to color three, two different ways, okay? And I need to see, I'm gonna go ahead and use yellow and blue on this one. Okay, this is number three, right? One, two, three. So I'm going to use one, two yellow, and then I'm going to do one blue, okay? So you go ahead and color your first like that, two yellow and one blue, 
and then you're going to decide what colors you, how many you want yellow over here and how many you want blue. Okay, go ahead and do that one. Okay, we're going to move on to number four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to color some of these yellow and some of them blue. So I'm going to start with yellow again. And I'm going to do one, two, three yellow. And then I'm going to go back and do one blue. Okay, so go ahead and color that. Color three of them yellow and one of them blue on this side. And then on this side, you get to choose how many of those squares you wanna make blue and how many you wanna make yellow. Okay. And then we're gonna go on to this one. This is number five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're gonna start with yellow again. And I'm only going to color one of them yellow this time. Okay, and I'm gonna color the rest of them. One, two, three, four, blue. Okay. So this time I colored four blue and one yellow. And that makes five. And then you get to choose how many yellow you want to use over here and how many blue you want to use over here. And then we'll share this paper too during the teens meeting at two. You can show us how many you colored um, yellow and blue over here, how many you colored yellow and blue here, and how many you colored yellow and blue in under the five, okay? So remember this is three, four, and five, all right? And that is our math lesson for today. Um, I do want to read you a story real quick, um, a, a math story. It's a counting story. It's called 10 Pigs. And I'm gonna scoot a little bit closer so you can see this, the book better, okay? 10 Pigs, an epic bath adventure by Derek Anderson. 10 Pigs, an epic bath adventure. Okay, there's those rubber duckies you like to put in the bathtub, and there's the title page. Ten Pigs, an Epic Bath Adventure by Derek. Story and pictures by Derek Anderson. So he's the author and the illustrator. One pig. He's getting ready to take his bath. One very happy pig. This bathtub is perfect for just me and you. But along comes pig number two. Two, two, this tub is too small for a duck, two pigs, and a bouncy ball. Make way for me, squeals number three. This is a bath, not the deep blue sea. One, two, three pigs now. Oh my goodness. And all their toys. This tub is too full. That's it, no more. Oh no, here comes pig number four. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. I don't know that she's gonna fit. Arg says five and six gives a toot. Seven launches his boat with a sailor salute. Oh my goodness, now there are seven. What are they gonna do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how that tub's gonna hold that. Pig eight has a castle. Number nine barely fits. Now there's nowhere left to sit. Now there are nine pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pigs in this one little bathtub. And 10, number 10, wiggles and squeezes and surfs his way in. Oh my goodness sakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pigs, ten. Look at 
the mess. Look at the craziness. What? Wait. What is that? What do you think is coming? I don't know. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Run, run. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Where's one? No pigs. None. Now there's zero. Something got them moving. One wolf. I wondered if it was going to be that sneaky wolf. One very happy pig. <laughs> so the pig dressed up as a wolf to get all the other pigs to leave. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story and I will see you back here in just a little bit.